So we are back once again with the Girls Frontline loadouts in Modern Warfare. And for this episode, I decided I'm going to do 416. And this is because the M4 in this game has a decent amount of attachments that allows me to sort of create something similar to hers, but not exactly, not as close to the, as the UMP. So first thing uh, we're going to showcase here is her suppressor. Her suppressor has, well, number one, it's tan, and there's no tan suppressors in the game, but we can use uh, something that looks similar to it. So if I show you the suppressors here, the reason why I choose the monolithic is the lightweight suppressor does not have a ring around it, and the tactical suppressor has, you know, like waffle dots or whatever. The monolithic suppressor actually does have the little ring, and if I pull, it, pull up the image again, you'll see that 416 has the ring on her suppressor. So as for the barrel length, uh, I don't know if I'm stupid or not, but I actually can't tell from this image. And I actually looked online on the HK416 and it has so many variants that there's actually not one set barrel size. So the reason why I'm sticking with the default barrel is because 416's, well, the side of her gun is kind of tannish and there's rail coverings on the default barrel. So I decided that might as well look good. As for the tack laser, uh, all three lasers are actually PEQs, and let me show you why I chose the TAC laser. So the the one millimeter, the one willow milliwatt laser is black, and you can see there's nothing protruding on it. If we go back to 416's image, you can see that there's a there's a little bit of protrusion from her laser. Now, if we go to the five milliwatt laser, it's uh, it does have the protrusion, but it's still black. And of course, I think you saw this, but the TAC laser is brown and it has protrusions and while it may not be in the correct area it would be on this side of the gun on the right side of it uh we can't do anything about that so we just have to deal with this now as for the optic we can clearly see she runs an easy tech and it's not uh, it looks more like a like five five three five five two i can't tell the specifics but it is an eotech and it's not one of their xps line so we'll just stick with a poor combat hollow sight. As for the foregrip, uh, I actually know the exact model of foregrip she uses in real life, but it's not in this game. So you can see when uh, she's holding the foregrip, it's about the same size as her hand. It doesn't extend really past the end of her hand. So if we check the foregrips here, it's obviously not this. The Merc foregrip is quite big. It's not the tactical foregrip. So it comes down to either Merc foregrip, Ranger foregrip, or Operator foregrip. Now the reason why I'm not using the Operator foregrip is because I want you to look at the size. That's too small. And Merc foregrip is quite big. The Ranger foregrip is in between and, well, it kind of, it's just there for size. In terms of shape and color, none of these grips do it. So we have to settle with running a Ranger foregrip. Now as for the last thing here, is her stock. Let me see if I can extend the image. So you'll see the stock is in the incorrect color, but just look at the general shape of it. The little triangle in the middle, the adjusting wedge thing. It honestly resembles her stock far more than the base one. The only benefit to the base one is, not not this, is that it's the same color. It's tan. But uh, for, for realism here, in like terms of actually building the gun in the game, you want to go with the Forge Tax TQS. Now, as part of my plan to make this uh, series a little more educational, um, I'm, I want to tell the, the viewers what, what's actually going on with the gun. Like, well, how do these attachments affect it? So, here, let me just put this black box, and bam, here we go. We have information. So, the base aim down sight time of this gun is 250 milliseconds. When you add a monolithic suppressor, it is 17 milliseconds. The Ranger foregrip adds time to the aim down sights, but whatever it is, is below 17 milliseconds. The Forge TAC CQS uh, decreases the time by 17 milliseconds. The TAC laser decreases it by 34 milliseconds, and the EOTAC increases it by below 17 milliseconds. Now, the reason why I said roughly 216 milliseconds for the total ADS time is because I cannot calculate below 17 milliseconds. That's the best I got. It's below that amount number. 
it's below 17. I don't know how far below it. It could be 12. It could be 4. It could be 7. But if we're going to go roughly, roughly 216, I'd say maybe 225 is a good bet. But objectively looking at the numbers, it's roughly 216 milliseconds. I think I should note that 416 does actually have a sidearm on her hip. However, in her damage dart, where I thought you could get a better perspective, I still cannot tell the details of this gun. So for now, uh, it's definitely not a Beretta. So in terms of, it looks a little boxy. So I will be switching it to be running a Glock. And if I'm going to be running a Glock, uh, it doesn't look like there's a suppressor because he was able to fit it on her hip. So when I'm running the Glock, let's let's see here. There's no red dot on there either. We're going to go with the sleight of hand. Let's assume she's well trained. Uh, it's it's more black, so I suppose just adding more black onto it would make sense. Lightweight trigger. You can't see the trigger on a gun anyway. Uh, it does not... Can Is there a laser on it? I cannot tell. So we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with no laser on that. As for the barrel, uh, it's it's gray, so we'll give her something uh, that's a little smaller, but it, uh, bigger than the base barrel, but not as small or skeletonized as this, because this uh, probably resembles what's in her holster better better than this. This looks a little extreme. As for the perks, well. She's part of 404, so I suppose I should be going Cold-Blooded Ghost and Battle-Hardened. And as for Lethal, she actually does- she has a grenade launcher ability in the game. However, the main issue is, well, it's not on her gun. So, I can't just pull out a grenade launcher as a secondary. I can pull out a rocket, but of course that wouldn't be accurate. As for Lethal, well, we don't- we have no idea. Uh... I don't know if this counts, but in, con in Continuum Turbulence, they had uh, the adrenaline uh, that they needed to give to uh, Ange. So I guess I could use that as an excuse to run Stim, but I was going to do that anyway. As for Lethal, uh, they like messing with C4 and 404, so we'll just switch it to C4. So we're going to be jumping into a game here. Uh, Unfortunately, I I wanted to give I wanted to upload a video, a part two to this series, before I wanted to do it any relatively soon. And unfortunately, in that time, one of my plans was to just do a voiceover narration over the footage so I could get my thoughts together better. However, I would like to put out a video on this series relatively soon, so I'm just doing a uh, live commentary over gameplay. Uh, I can tell you the basics of this loadout. Uh, one of the main things that makes this loadout really good is the uh, aim down sight speed. As you can see, it's extremely fast. Roughly 260 milliseconds. Far above... Well, it's not as fast as you could make it. I could totally make it better. But... Well... I didn't because that wouldn't be accurate to how she actually runs the gun. So... In terms of the way you should be using this loadout. Uh, assuming you're going full stealth. One of the issues is the tack laser completely destroys your ability to run stealth in this class. When you aim down your sights, this green laser will be visible to other players. So, since you have such a fast aim down sight time, however, you need to uh, not be sprinting as much, and you need to only aim down sights when you see somebody if you're trying to remain hidden and stealthy. Like for example here, I'm going to be skipping B because he's a, he's a death trap in this map. So I'm going to be sneaking around to C with both cold blooded and ghost. And I'm not going to be pre-aiming my gun anywhere, because if I pre-aim, they will have knowledge on where I am. Of course, right now they know I'm at C, but they didn't know I was, where I precisely was on C. If I was using the laser, those first initial shots wouldn't have missed. They would have hit me. try to run over the sea, uh, although they seem to be removing our influence on it. That was my bad. I should have been shooting the guy who wasn't already dead. Overall, this is a very like basic class that's pretty decent for rushing. I'm gonna aim at the toot of the truck so he doesn't see the laser. Oh, he's using the smoke screen. Enemy at the hotel. We're taking Bravo. Bravo. 
that's what the stim's for. Okay, so now that I'm running out of ammo, maybe I'll have time to showcase the pistol here. Never mind, I died. So this is a class that is 100% not stationary. As I've said before, the TAC laser is not suited for camping, and neither is the speed of this loadout. So, stealthy fast is a description I could apply for this. Essentially, you're going to be running to run around the map and like flanking the enemies. So as you can see, I keep going for direct assault, just running up to them and shooting them like I'm about to do right now. But it's less effective because simply uh, my position is easy to give away due to the laser. So I, what I should be doing is swapping positions often in order to hit them from several different angles. Then we're going to run out of the smoke like a bat out of hell. He had uh, crossfired and died, but uh, that's the part of the course. It's fine. As you can see, I'm not pre-aiming any of this. Even with uh, mounting, I wasn't able to get that dude. Yeah, I keep pointing at this side of the map, so that's why I'm not doing a lot of my flanking stuff I'm talking about. But I'm going to try it right now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to sprint. Uh, the attack laser, I think, reduces sprint out time. But also, you know, in general, you don't want to be caught off guard while running into a, an important objective. I should have had EOD, but I switched that off for uh, the 404 stealth kit. One thing that helps in this game is that little white dot in the center of your screen. Nah, I got all three shots on him, but I didn't kill because he probably healed. Yeah, you see one of the downfalls of this gun is... You you can... When, when you shoot somebody and they are able to run away, you can't just keep holding the corner. The laser is there. It makes it... Uh, how would I say? It's very different playing from other assault rifles. Of course, I'm running munitions box because I want to support my team and not be a greedy douchebag by just running high power rounds. The the more I play objective in this, the longer the game lasts. It's probably good for the video. I don't have quick fix, so you have to use a stim. We've got control. But as you can see, that increased ADS time really, really does do some, do some magic. For example, he rushed me really badly, but boop, right on his head. We're protecting our teammate, except I didn't protect him. He kind of died. Did he not die? How many shots did we land on him? I think that's going to be play of the game. He whooped our ass on objective. So once again, immediately preem this. And turn it off because you don't want your laser revealing that somebody's there on that side of the map. There you go. Denial, uh, denying enemy push onto objective. Gonna go by and spawn. These bushes are kind of useful, but if they actually see a red name tag through the bush, it kind of gets rid of the whole stealth factor. As you can see, I'm trying to do a lot of flanking, a lot of sneaky, hit them where they're not expecting it. Also, thanks for the smoke. So, overall, let me just uh, turn off the video game audio. Overall, I'm going to be saying that this loadout is effective. However, I would swap out. I would swap out the tack laser for the stipple grip tape. The reason is the stipple grip tape also gives you minus or it actually gives you minus 34 milliseconds on your aiming down sight time so it essentially it gives you the same uh, ads speed benefit without giving you the uh exposure uh depth is it deficit of well, all the exposure negative so with the stipple grip tape you are able to aim down sight just as fast 
uh, but you're also able to hold angles without revealing your position. You can't hold a uh, angle while aiming down sight with the tack laser because anyone who actually just walks in there will find you out. And now that that becomes a, a real issue. And essentially, you are forced into this running gun stealth style due to the tack laser. And I'd say it's certainly good at what it does, but I think you might want to go for a more well-rounded loadout. And uh, I think 416's next loadout might might be more well-rounded because her mod 3 form uses a modern kit from uh, like real-life SEAL Team 6, also known as Dev Group. So, a, l a little correction there. See, I thought uh, 416's mod 3 kit would be a little more different, but if I pull up a photo here, we have the same grip, same suppressor, same laser, but this time, the laser's on the top rail, which makes sense because, well, it just makes sense. That's how real-life operators do it, and it's how it's done in this game, so that's convenient for me. And in terms of the optic, uh, you can see here, she has a... EOTech with a flip magnifier. I'm not sure if it's four times or if it's two times, but it is a magnifier and she has the same stock. Now, unfortunately, uh, there is just, just one issue with this and that uh, it's almost identical to the last loadout, except with a different optic, which is exactly how it was for UMP45, it's mod three, but you know, it is the same character. So I suppose I can't get too mad about that. Now, as for the whole uh, aim down sight thing, uh, I don't I don't have it ready here, but I will tell you the this flip hybrid. Instead of being below 17 milliseconds, it is 17 milliseconds. So whatever uh, 216 plus 17 is, that's how many milliseconds it takes to aim down sight. And it honestly isn't too bad. You're still definitely below. You're you're definitely uh. Above, no, 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 you're below the average aiming down side speed. In this case, being below is good. But uh, with the tack laser and the flip uh, hybrid, maybe you'll be able to kill them at longer range. We'll need to test that out in gameplay. So we're jumping into a match here. And as you can see, there's the magnified optic with the same loadout. Now, for this to be, it's kind of contradictory. So this uh, optic is kind of meant for long range, but also you see that laser, it kind of betrays that you're there. But we'll see what we can do. For example, uh, I'm gonna go get on this little co-part and see if I can get anybody. Nope, and so we're gonna get close range by switching to normal EOTech. It's kind of cheating because it's also how it is on the normal gun. It's funny how that guy actually has MP5 as his username. So I'm not going to cheat and I want to make the, let's have it always magnified because if I had my preference with this gun, it would not be magnified. So let's see what I can do with it. Fun fact, 416 actually has a, has a anniversary skin and the anniversary skin uh, has an ECOG, ECOG, ACOG on her gun. And it's, uh, if I remember, for some reason there was a magnifier in front of the ACOG on the normal art, and it didn't make any sense whatsoever. And I, th oh shit, if I do that, yeah, they can see the laser. Did you get him? Oh shit. Good job with the C4 there. But, uh, yeah, you can see, even though it's magnified, look at this. That's how fast I can get on sight and shoot. So even though this optic is heavier considered in-game, it actually does slow down your aim down sight speed by 17 milliseconds. It's not too bad. It's, it's perfectly serviceable. This is because every other attachment on the gun actually lends itself to speed. Uh, the only issue is, once again, uh, despite having a magnified optic, you can't really just hold down the lane because people will see the laser, which is the main issue. Friendly precision airstrike on the way. So it works when you see them from afar like that, but not being able to free in the enemy is uh, a negative. Ah oh, shit, they got me. Let me just see this. How obvious was my laser? So we can look at it. Oh, they couldn't see the laser at all. They could just see me. Are we gonna capture B or... No, they're, uh, we're losing influence on B. 
Fun fact about munitions boxes, when you're running spotter, you can aim at the munitions box because you can see it, obviously, but it has a really uh, large amount of range. The, the explosion of the box has a decent amount of range, and so you can use it to wipe out a team. Shit, they can see my laser. I'll get baited. Okay, so assuming nobody stabs me in the back or from this side, we have captured B, which is good for us. Yeah, that speed, that ADS speed is kind of insane. I never use attack laser due to the amount of cons it has, aka uh, giving away your position. But when you're using it in a in a loadout like this, you know, I I really like this loadout. In fact, I would say this is, in my opinion, better than HK 416's base loadout because the extra vi you can do this. That's really it. That's the only difference between the two builds. And having an uh, having the ability to make it magnified at will is well, that's a lot of utility. And like for example, uh, let me see if I can get Captain Price here. Nah, shit. Kind of looking lost though. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get on B. Let's switch to magnified. Friendly counter UAV act. <laughs> Yeah, even the MP5 sprint out time, being an SMG, has a very fast sprint out time. Uh, I can react faster than their super sprint out. And uh, I can kill them before they can even land a shot. Which, uh, very good, actually. Very good. Shit, I almost lit, lit up my teammate. If it was hard for. So I'm going to aim at this box so that they can't see my laser if I go beyond it. You were close to death. Um, we might as well take a kick because I don't see anyone here. Assist your team at B. I'm going to cross behind here, go for the reload. And you want to aim at this so that anyone behind the shipping crates can't see it. And that's where magnified optic helps. You see, uh, on my screen he was a much bigger target because he was magnified, obviously. You're needed at Charlie. No. Oh, never mind. He got me. I like it. I like how MP5 is actually running an MP5 and not an MP10. If any of you are wondering, the MP10 is was requested by either the FBI or CIA. But essentially, they um, after using the MP5 for a while, their quote was just like, "Yo, a nine millimeters weak. Please buff up this gun." And uh, their logic was, "All right, we'll chamber in ten millimeter." Now the main issue is not not is ten and ten millimeter is not only uh, kind of expensive, it's also wow I fucking suck. Something uh, unmagnified for this one. Okay, well I don't know what's going on with him. There's another person there. Ah shit. But yeah, for some reason the MP5 in 10mm uh, was just rancid, decaying corpse of the MP5. It performed really well, 10mm uh, ballistics were very impressive, everyone liked them. The main issue came from the fact that uh, it jammed for, some, for whatever reason. And that's completely unrelated to this, except we're thought, I'm using a 416 here. Sometimes, uh, the thing is, it's so similar to the last loadout, and I already had a little gameplay segment for that one. I don't know how, like, useful or required another one for, uh, for this one to be. So, just see, this is just kind of gameplay with me commentating over it. And, once again, it's the same point. Uh, attack laser makes it hard to hold down angles. Suppressor keeps it quiet, foregrip reduces the recoil, and it's really just a magnified optic. Although, I think I uh, I am forcing myself to use the magnified optic. It's not too bad, actually. Despite being four times, you would think four times would kind of be like sniper scope territory. But it's really not all that bad. Did you know tonight they are nerfing the, uh, the Galil Ace? Wow, you know what? Grenade. Well, he peaked. Uh, I have to commend him for having the balls to do that. Two. We have the 
Yeah, you're not escaping from me. MP5 is the best player, and now we got a UAV. I realized I did not get any kill streaks in my last gameplay. That's how bad I was at the game. But hey, I mean, look at our team. I met Kanye West. I'm never going to fail. Haha. <laughs> uh, that was the peak of Chance's career. He never came back from that. Big day, more like the Big Zero from Anthony Fantani. I've never actually listened to the album. I can't say if it's good or bad. Oh, damn. He went hard. Uh, let's let's clear out B. Yeah, um, dude, I have a magnified optic. We've lost C. Wow. I remember five five six. Uh, does five five six over penetrate? Who knows. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the gameplay with the kit. It's more of a formality than anything. It's so similar to the last one. Let me mute uh, game volume again. It's so similar to the last gun, or the last kit, that, like I said, it's just a formality, and it's essentially just more gameplay with commentary, but uh, I think, you know, if I'm going to make a kit and actively showcase it, you might, might as well have commentary over it. I'm going. Um, the reason why this took so long was because I was really researching how to use my editing software so I could try to do, like, voiceover narration and maybe try to edit in a few things. Uh... The only thing I got so far is right now the editing process has been very much streamlined because uh, instead of recording everything in one take and having to constantly split and cut the same clip, uh, I'm splitting everything to segments, which makes it much easier to compile in the editor. And uh, you saw when I was doing the original 416 to load out, uh, it was much easier because I just put a black box with text over it and read off of that. And uh, that gives it a good amount of information for the kit and I, I hope it was a little more informational this time uh i will try to make episode three come out faster because it took three weeks for episode two to come out because i was being very indecisive and hopefully i can make episode three come out with better edits and a, and a bit more detail so uh that should be it uh so see, see you in episode three whenever that one comes out